the two things you do not want to do with a boat is not use it or not take care of it. There's days that getting on my boat, waxing it, polishing it, detailing it, it just gives me that kind of me time. It just, I can think. I drug this boat out of a backyard. It literally had a four foot tree growing out of it right here. And it was there. I really just wanted the trailer. I didn't want the boat, but after I cleaned the tree out of it and started messing with it, I kind of started liking it. And little by little, I just kept working on it. It's an old boat, but it's a cool boat. And I have a lot of fun on it. The water's beautiful, boats passing by. There's just something about taking it easy on the boat. Beautiful sun, beautiful scenery. <laughs> Does life get any better than this? Hello. Hey, Tony, it's Dave. Dave, how the hell are you, buddy? Uh, I think I got another project that you may be interested in. Really? Yeah, I got a 93 Diablo BT, all black. Oh, man, Maybe now you're talking. To, yeah, if you'd like to come down and check out the man cave. Yeah, absolutely. Come down to Club 66, the museum, and yeah. check out our cars. Uh-huh. Okay, look, I could be down there tomorrow. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, you take care. All right, Tony. All right, bye. See you soon. All right, bye. Bye. Yeah, I like that. Diablo. Ooh, all black. Yeah, I can see me in that. So Dave calls, and you know his nickname is the Speed Guy. I mean, he loves speed. Hi, my name is Dave, and I love speed. Dude, this is freaking awesome, man. Welcome to the Ultimate Man Cave. Holy crap. Home away from home. I love the pinball machines, man. Now, Kelly sent me pictures of the GT500 that's the one of a kind, and it's in like a bubble. I mean, they filter the air that moves around this car. That's how valuable this car is. GT500. The only one in the world. Yeah, I, I got one. I heard you had one of those, by the way. Want to swap? Uh, not with that. <laughs> never. Never. I heard, I heard I'll never one of one in the world. I heard she, tell, she, tell, she couldn't stop talking about that car. But what, 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 why is it here? It's supposed to be in that bubble. Well, we had it out for a little while this weekend. Had to let him out and let him breathe a little bit. Dude, you got a fever? You mean take that out of You didn't take that out of here. Sure. So we're walking around. He's got all types of cars. Everything. And they're all collectible, high-end level. So a lot of these are one of four, one of 18. One of six. I mean, they're beautiful. They're Pace all car. Really rare, numbers I mean, matching. All original parts. Really some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cars. And everyone in pristine condition. You know, cars, cool. Pinball machines, cool. But what's the deal about? That's what I want. So, what's this deal about? Well, why don't we play a game of pool first? You're not going to tell me what this is, are you? Uh, you're, just, you're just dragging this thing out, man. This must be really good. It's good. You're going to like it. You want to play a game of pool? Right. You rack. So I break? You break. Guess. I break. Ah, uh, you're sweet. Let's see. Well, come on, serious, dude. I want to do a deal. You want to play a game of pool? When in Rome, it's his man cave. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, you sink the next ball, and we'll negotiate. So I guess we're going to negotiate. All right. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Let's see what we got here. We'll finish this game, but the suspense is killing me. Okay, so now it's time for business. Dave, what's the deal? All right, maybe this will sweeten the deal a little bit. Sit down and talk business. You know, cars, pool, pinball, and now a drink. 
Where, I'm looking, where's the, where's the lube at? Because <laughs> I feel it coming. <laughs> well, listen, you're Italian. You like Lamborghinis, Italian cars? Mm -hmm. I got a Lamborghini Diablo, all black, 200 mile an hour car right from the factory. I got you, man, but well, what is it with me? Here you got that Shelby. And I'm looking for a daily driver. I need a 500 GT. You got that one right there. That's not a daily driver. <laughs> and I'm looking for something I can get out, hot dog, burn up the tires. And I got the car for you. Yeah, that, 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 that Shelby we just put together, the paint on it is awesome. It's a gun smoke gray. That sounds cool. Oh man, and you gotta see what's in it. Nine, four speed. Four speed, it's got the Cobra engine. Liking it already. It's all, it's, it's, let me tell you, it's real muscle. It's real muscle. Trade the Lamborghini, some cash. Oh, come on, man. The Lamborghini doesn't even sit in the same building with a damn Shelby. Uh, I agree now, with you. What are you going to be talking about here? You're going to be Hollywood numbers, man. You know, very few things turn me on. You know what I'm talking about. Women. Yeah. And a triple black Lamborghini Diablo. And as soon as he said that, I was like all in on this deal. But I'm thinking, how am I going to make that trade? I mean, how possibly? We're talking about way too far of a spectrum. We have a $200,000 car and an $80,000 car. So there's going to be a lot of cash that's going to have to exchange here. But he's got my attention. So why don't we do this? We're talking about two cars, neither one of those things. When is your Lambo coming in? Uh, probably about a week or two. All right, so I'll tell you what, when the Lambo gets in, you call me. We'll go over, we'll take a look at the Shelby, and right then and there, we'll see what we can put together. That sounds like a winning plan. All right, now we can finish our drinks and finish this down game. Finish because, this pool game. Yeah, because, you know, how did, you, how did you expect me to play pool thinking that <laughs> something, something's dropping here, man? Well, I knew I had a car you liked, and you got one I like. You're gonna, uh, you're gonna like the Shelby, and I know I'm probably gonna love this Lambo, but the key is, you know, can can we make the deal work? And make dude, it work. I always know for we me, can. for me, and for you. Yeah, we'll do it. You've got to seriously be careful, though, Carol, because she has gone after like three different dogs. Oh. Come on, Boo Boo. Tony's not here. Just let me know if you Tony's see. Tony's gonna fix you. So, are the dogs put away though? Because she's like super yes. aggressive. I'm gonna Carol. put her in my office. I got an extensive history working with dogs. I went through all Central, South America, and the Caribbean developing canine programs. Most of the dogs we train, we get out of animal shelters. Dogs that would have been put to sleep. We take them and turn them into a valuable asset. I got my girl, Carol. Hey, I've known her a long time. She does all these animal rescue stuff and everything. She's really, really a sweetheart of a girl, and she really has a big heart. And we do a lot of dog deals together. She'll get these dogs that are that have problems or that are not really adoptable, she'll call me up. I'll work the dogs, either help them to get adopted or we'll use them ourselves. Oh, did my you see? little Amelia Bedelia, you Jessica, got so did you see his big balls? No, honey, that's a hernia. No, I know, but it's getting bigger. Yes, it's a hernia. Yes, How you see her? Your mama's here. Hi, he likes to have sex still with me, so let's go inside. Oh, he's naughty boy. So usually when I have a dog issue that I cannot rehab myself, I'll call Tony. So if the dog's really aggressive and I'm not getting anywhere with it, I need to fix it, I call Tony. And I've got one I'm calling Tony on now that he's gonna come out here and, and do the job for me. Jessica's my partner in crime. She was my vice president for Pet Haven Rescue. She's also my best friend. But now I made her president of Pet Haven Rescue because she's a young chicken. She's 34 years old, I'm 50. I've been doing this for a long time. So you know what? I gave her the control. Now she tells me what to do. Sit, sit pretty. Okay. Sit pretty. Okay. There That's you go. begging. Okay, let me see his. Actually, his tusks are not bad at all. No, they look good, babe, but we could cut them. No, that look, they actually look great. It's the same. It's Maxwell. always been more pronounced on the left hand side. There you go. Are you seriously scared of my pigs? Listen, he tries having sex with me. I'm just Who telling you. Who doesn't? <laughs> That's a true story. You know, I get a call from Carol and she doesn't ask me for too many favors, but when she does, I always run. Anyway, she has a problem with an aggressive dog. Tony! Oh, yeah. Every time Tony. I say your name, you always appear. Is that me, baby? You guys need a room? What about me? <laughs> Let's get down to the brass tacks. What okay. kind of dog are we talking about? She's a husky mix. Okay. She's probably about 45 pounds. Sure as heck. She's got a dog. It's not really an aggressive problem, more of a misplaced aggression problem. 
So there's some triggers that, that kick a dog off. Again, creature habit or yeah. by association. So something happened, for example, uh, a dog came by and for some reason it went and the dog took off. Yeah. Well, that's a positive reinforcement for that dog to do it again so that- But hmm. where's the positive reinforcement? Well, the positive reinforcement is the dog ran. She, she oh, growled, the so dog ran. Oh, so she's getting what she wants. I results. see what you're saying, okay. Uh, you know, like dog comes uh, over and leans against you and yeah. if you don't correct it, it's on top of you. Yeah. If you don't correct it, it's climbing on you. Yes. It'll keep progressing. Hey, babe. Maybe. I'm a pro at this because I got pff, more years than I care to remember working in, in law enforcement with training police dogs. Okay, so this is the one that she goes after. I want you to walk straight across. I'll take care of this one. You just control that okay. one, but I want you to walk right past me. Stop. Heel. Quit. You see how she looks at her? Yeah. She doesn't like her because she's went after her. And she's know. holding a grudge now. You know how nervous that makes me? No, hey, baby. we're gonna fix it. But she's just really. Okay. She's Good fresh. girl, no, Gwen. I'm gonna just anything. step out because it just makes me nervous. Oh wait, are we intertwining them? No, that's all I want you to do is just walk past. Her. All right, honey, come on. She's not gonna do nothing to you. I'm, your mama's protecting you. Come on, look at her. Good girl. Good girl, Gwen. No, see how she looks back? She wants her. Yeah, okay. I know. Okay, Carol, what I want you to do, is I want you just to just actually have your dog step right over her. Okay, come on, honey. Come on. Good girl. Oh my gosh. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, it makes me nervous, but okay, do she's doing so good. Ready? Come on. Do it again. Jump. She steers yeah. away a little bit. She knows. Yeah, now. She's waiting for her to nail her. All right, now what's happening is, right now, She's being positive reinforced as far as being praised for doing this, Good. and she's accepting it. I love she's it. She's not growling, she's not rolling her lip up, so she's she's tolerating it at this point. We want to get her from a tolerated stage to an acceptance stage, where yeah. she'll accept exactly other dogs being Stop. around her. This time, what I want you to do, Carol, <laughs> Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to walk your dog, put the two front legs over her, the two back legs over here, literally straddle her. That's it. That's good. That's good. Right that, there. Right, right there. there. Stay. Right there. Oh, wow. Good. She's interested good. in squirrels, I think. I think she forgot Gwen was there. That's good. I think my nervous energy doesn't really, help. Now look, this is really, really good. This is telling me that this is not a problem. Okay. This is very correctable. Extremely correctable. That's so exciting. Yeah, cool. And then... There we go. Oh, yay, right, Gwyneth. We're going to be all fixed she's, up. She's going to be fine. Yay. Right, and the fact that she, she was so responsive You're tells so me responsive. this is really a very minor, minor problem. It's minor, baby. Okay. If this would have been real aggression, we'd have a bigger problem on our hands. Oh, for sure. Perfect. I'm so excited Perfect. about that. So did I do a solid on this one? You are a badass motherfucker. Thank you, baby. I know you always want to kiss I me. I always want to kiss ah! me. God damn. All right, here's the deal. All right. Tomorrow. Okay. I'm heading to Daytona tomorrow to sponsor one of the race trucks. So it's one of our products that we have. We're gonna have our logo on the truck. I told Carol, I says, maybe you would want to come. I'm in. I'm all about the fucking race cars. Let's go, Tony! <laughs>
and then the shirt goes up into my helmet and there's tubes in my helmet and the helmet keeps the helmet and the shirt keep my body and my core temperature to a somewhat tolerable level uh, when I get out of the car I still look like a lobster because I'm literally cooking inside the race car hold on baby hold We are so excited. That truck's gonna pull out onto the track and we're gonna go watch it race. We're gonna go down and right around turn one where that truck's gonna dip down off the bank and come in like a rocket. Sounds like they're coming. You know, when you're standing there on pit row and you see these cars and trucks go by you, I couldn't believe it. So, it, it, I mean, Seeing it on camera it doesn't do it justice. I mean, you hear a whoa, you know, you hear that. Oh man, it is awesome. I get a call from Carol and she says, hey, Tony, uh, a buddy of mine has a Hummer. Hello. Hello, darling. Hey, baby, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm so great. Fan Listen, you know I'm all about cars and since Daytona stuff, I, um, I've been getting some calls on uh, some different things and I'm all over the place, you know me. Uh, have you, ha do you know what a Hummer is? <laughs> no, I'm not giving you a Hummer. Do you know what a Hummer is, Tony? I got this really redneck guy with his Hummer sitting on his property. And I really think I could put Tony and him together, maybe flip a deal. She's talking about uh, Hummer 1 series, which is a converted military vehicle. And I'm going like, yeah, maybe this will be a good deal. I'm interested. Uh, a Hummer, you know, when they were doing them, they're a, about a $100,000 vehicle because they take a military vehicle, they tear it apart, and they turn it into a badass passenger vehicle. It's a cool, cool vehicle. We gotta go to this place called Looney's. And now I gotta meet his cousin, Ray. Now, when we get in there, let's just uh, keep it cool, keep the cameras like down. I don't, these guys, <laughs> you look at these bars, from what I heard about it, you have a lot of people with warrants in there, and they ain't gonna be happy, so they don't like cameras around. Yeah, I'll be there. Ray? What's up, man? Yeah, I'm Tony. Well, we're interested in that Hummer. So he tells me you got the title, I got the cash. So can we make a deal here? How much the total? Uh, 20 grand, that's what we read on. 20 grand. Yeah, you know, you need to count that. Here, I just handed this guy 20 grand in cash. I mean, he said, I said, you want to count it? He said, no. He said, because if it's, I'll count it after you leave and it's not all here. He goes, you ain't getting it. And when he said that, it kind of didn't sit right with me. In other words, this guy has the capability of stopping me from getting his vehicle. First of all, uh, is it in running condition? Yeah, it's good, Nick. Been on the farm for a while. Mm -hmm. He's a good clean. Uh -huh. She was good. You know, the nice part about this deal, if I'm getting it for 20 grand, I got a lot of spread room in there. I, I could sell this easy for 60, 70,000. So I'm gonna make a good piece of change on this deal. And you got, you got the paperwork on it? Uh, this ain't a title, this is a transfer of ownership. Uh, but it's 
from the U.S. military to, okay, all right, yeah, this is what they give you. Well, look, man, it's been a pleasure. Go check it out. Take care. Damn. Look at this place. God damn. I get the address where this place is. I punch it into my GPS. Google doesn't even go to this place. So finally, I end up at a place. According to my little GPS, it tells me I'm here. The cousin was supposed to call ahead so that everybody knew we were coming. Okay, but I'm still not taking that chance. So I'm yelling over the fence. Hey, anybody here? You know, I'm looking around. I don't see nobody. So I start going into the property, walking in there. I see this huge garage. So I figured, well, that's got to be where this thing is. But I'm walking around on the outside trying to find somebody. Hello? Anybody over there? This ain't, uh, this definitely not the Hummer here. Nope. There's a bunch of old cars, old trucks. There's a camper, but no Hummer. Anybody here? You know, the last thing you want to do is walk on somebody's property without them knowing you're there. Let me call this guy. That's what I'm talking about. Whew. Yep, military grade Hummer. Oh yeah. We got a blown tire. Oh, that's an easy five grand. Oh, come on, baby. Talk to me. Oh, yes! Man, this thing is sweet. I'll let the guys mess with it later. It starts. It's all accounts. This is sweet, man. This thing is cool. So as I walk in, oh, whoa. <laughs> this thing is great. It is friggin' awesome. It's like a sand color brown, but just cool as hell. Interior was pretty much done. You can see there was a work in progress. You can see that there's a lot more that needs to be done. Cha-ching, go and make some money on this one. Oh, I'm looking at this thing right now and I, numbers are going through my head. I figure I can easily make a good 55, 60,000 off this thing, easy. By the time this is all said and done, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna make some good money on this. Oh, that Hummer was pretty good. Nice little Hummer. Got a couple flat tires on it. Not too shabby. Got to do some interior work. But for 20 grand, that was, that was a pretty good deal. 
Shoot. I got to get that. What you doing? Hey, guys, get back, get back. Hey, man. Oh, whoa, whoa. Take it easy, dude. Dude. No, take it. Oh, uh, I just came to pick that Hummer up. Okay. Fuck what you're here for. You need to get the fuck out of here. Look, man, I just bought the Hummer. I just I'm bought... telling you, you need to leave. Yeah, I ain't hey, leaving. I, I... Guess what? It's gonna get bad. No, no, it ain't gonna get bad. It ain't gonna get bad. All right. Don't, don't. Come on. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. The guy's drunk. Hey. I, I, now I got. I gotta figure out. I gotta figure out how to get this damn truck in here at this point. You know, I walk out and there's this guy standing there. He's got a bottle of booze in his hand. It's midday. He's yelling at me. Hey, what are you doing here? All this stuff. I'm looking at him like, hey, man, get out of my face. I ain't got time for no redneck that's half drunk. Yeah, I got I got a truck to move, OK? Next day, I know, bam! All right. Where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? What the hell just happened? This guy's shooting at us. Man, I grabbed the camera crew. I'm like, get the hell out of here now. All right. All right, all right, man. All right, look, look. I heard you. I heard you. All right, brother. All right, brother. I heard you. Look, look, man. Just chill. Just, all right, look. All right, I'm, t look, I'm telling you. Just don't, don't be stupid. Don't. All right, man. Just don't be, don't be stupid. All right. All right, I got you. Hey guys, get, get, get in the fucking car. Go. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck. You know, when situations happen like that, from my police experience, you de-escalate the problem. You get it. Okay, you're you're the boss. You're the guy carrying the gun. You're cool. I'm out of here. What the fuck was all this? Yo! Ray! Yeah! Yeah, this is Tony. Yeah! Hey, Ray, look, man, I went over to your place, and some guy came out of the shop there and start yelling at me, and next thing I know, he pulled a gun and starts shooting at me. And he's like, oh, yeah, I knew there was something I was supposed to do. Ah, uh, he's my mechanic. He's, uh, that's all right. Go back over. He's fine. I thought you I'm said... I... I'm supposed to do something. I'm sorry. Look, look, Ray, I, I ain't doing that. I ain't going back over there where a guy's got a gun and he's that, and he's that short-tempered. So here's what I'm going to do. You're going to need to deliver that damn Hummer to me. Hey, Ray. Hey, Tony. How you doing? What's up, brother, man? Yeah, how you doing? All right, man. Good. Got my Hummer there, man. Yeah, there it is. Hey, I, you know about these things. I got to ask you some questions about it, because I think we got a good deal on this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got this for 20 grand. So I get a call. The Hummer's at the Boneyard. Man, I am happier than a pig in you know what. It, this guy actually delivered. He got it there. Check this out, man. So tell me, um, I, obviously, the tires. Yeah, you're definitely going to need new tires. These are dry rotted, so they're not safe for driving. What we have here is a military, military Hummer who's been converted into a civilian version of it. Uh, these trucks go for around $100,000. I mean, they're built for the military so they can take a hit. Tony is really happy because it's a really good deal. I mean, you, you don't see these type of vehicles that often, especially in this good condition. You know, I walk up and the Hummer's sitting there and I got Ray, my mechanic, and he looks at it and he loves it. And he's going over and he says, hey man, this is a great, great truck. He said, look, Tony, you're gonna make a bucket load of money on this one. And that's music to my ears. Yeah, can we, we pop the hood on this thing? Oh, man, look at that. Diesel power. Diesel power, lots of torque, really good engine. Let me, I'm going to start this thing. Wow. Sweet. To break down the Hummer deal, pay 20 grand for it. Put $5,000 in for a tire, plus having it cleaned, all the work that we had to do on it. Uh, probably put another 5000 into it. So this is going to sell for an easy $100,000. So guess what? We're making a nice profit on this deal.
You know what I love about these? Like, if you got a girlfriend that, you know, just like is really in your ear or something, or a wife, you're way over there, they're way over here, they're blah, 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 and you step on the gas, the engine drowns them out, that's all you see is mouth moving, your head nodding, that's it. That's all you got to do. That's a perfect vehicle. I'll tell you, it's a perfect vehicle for that. First, we clean it up. Let's get the tires on it. We'll take it out for a road test. We'll see how she handles out on the road. And if everything's good and she's cleaned up, put a little bit of lipstick on this pig and send it out yeah. the door for some bacon. I agree. All right. I like it. I like it. Well, brother, it's all in your hands at, that, at this point, man. Thank you. We got one in the bag. Now it's time for flip number two of the day. We are on a roll. I met Dave a couple weeks ago. We talked about doing this swap with a Diablo and a Shelby. So today he's coming in to see the Shelby and hopefully we can close this deal. Dave. Tony. What's up, brother man? Good to see you. How are How you? How you doing, man? Welcome Good to, to my you. toy store. Yeah. Hey, Ray. That. How are you doing? Dave. That's Dave. Nice How are you, Ray? Ray nice runs this whole operation here. He's a great guy, man. Yeah, lots Ray. of go fast. Uh, lots, lots of go fast stuff here, man. Got nice carburetors there. So we got, we got all the toys, but I'm going to bring you inside. I'm going to show you some real nice stuff that we're bringing in and re rebuilding and everything. It's going to be really cool. Sounds good. These are a lot of seized assets we brought in. I right, see so you got a Porsche Turbo. Yep. Uh, Viper, Corvettes, all kinds of good toys. Is that an airplane propeller? Yeah, that's off of Piaggio. We got our own spray booth here, temperature control. Really cool stuff. Very nice. I mean, it's not a bad shot. We really, really, we got, we got some clean. Good. It is. We got some nice work stuff. with the composite. Yeah. Want a, anybody wants a Volkswagen Bug? <laughs> we'll put a hot rod, big lock in it. You know, we went into our interior shop, watched the guys there working on the interior. When he saw that and he saw the quality, we have the best guys in the business. Come on. Huh. He just was over the top on it, man. He wanted that Shelby, he wanted it now. Warren, say hello to Dave. Hey, Warren, Dave, how are you nice doing? Nice to meet you. How are you, buddy? I'm good, man. That's it. That's our guy that does all of our interiors, man. He's awesome. This is the Shelby stuff? Yeah, this is the Shelby stuff. Um, get ready to do Looking good. You got it all pleated up nice, man. It's just on. You get ready to stretch it all on? Yeah. Put it all together and uh, get this thing wrapped up and done with. OK, well, um, what are we thinking? Well, probably put it on there, too. Should be done with. OK, cool. Yeah, cool. pretty done. Everything should be put back together. All uh, right. Back in place. And then you all, you all have it all installed in the car, everything? Yeah. Now, the carpeting's all done in there and everything, Yeah, right? I'm going to have to be done, so this is the finishing point. So now it's just a matter of stretching it on and getting it cool. Perfect. Cool. When Dave saw the car, he was over the top. Look at what you got. Beautiful. Shelby GT500. That is sweet. Very nice. He loved it. He loved the paint job, the whole paint scheme, the ghost stripe that we put on it, the interior that we're putting into it. He's in love. The engine that's in that car, the guy was in love. You could see it in his eyes, man. He wants that Shelby. Right? You ready for this? I'm ready. You Let's ready for see this? It. Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. Whoa, Cobra. Cobra 428, big block. You got aluminum it. Aluminum heads, dual holly four barrels, aluminum radiator. Hey, man, I'm supposed to be selling you on this thing. This is good stuff <laughs> right here. MSD ignition. Nice. This looks nice. This is right up my alley, too. Composite hood. Yep. Fresh paint job. Yep. Like that gun metal smoke gray. I like it. I like the ghost stripes. Ghost stripe. I like the yep. You know, Dave wants this Shelby for one reason. He wants a muscle car that he can get on and drive. I mean, he owns a one of one, rarest car in the world. But he wants one that he can get out there and jump on in the street. He likes speed. Step in there, man. Fire it up. Yeah, he's in neutral. Got it. Oh, yeah. Woo! All right. So where did this come from? You don't want to ask. <laughs> Believe me, you don't want to ask. All right, then I won't. But what I will tell you is if we do this deal, I'll give you the backstory on it. You're going to love it. You know, Dave can be a hard negotiator, <laughs> but he's never negotiated with me. And we're looking on a trade? Well, we got to talk about that. You know, we sat back and 
kind of like, how do we put this deal together? I mean, we're talking uh, Diablo. We're talking uh, Shelby. Mm. Trying to get the two of them together, man, is like taking a round peg and sticking it in a square hole. So we had to come up with some real creative ways of, of figuring this out. And I think we did. We started going back and forth about how much cash. I knew I was going to have to put cash up. I want that car. I want that Diablo. But I wasn't going to tell him that. So I know how bad he wants the Shelby. Okay, so you got the Shelby GT500. I got the Lamborghini Diablo. I want the Shelby. What can we do? I want the Diablo. So right. how about like the boat? We just do a even trade. Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> good try, though. Good try. Hey, man, hey, you can't hurt me for trying. Come yeah, on. It's not going to happen. I got way more into the Lamborghini. All right. But I want this. This is an $80,000 car. You have a $200,000 car. Oh. So even up trade is out of the question, right? Uh, it's not going to happen. It ain't going to happen. No. All right. How about we do this? How about I give you 50 cash? You have to sweeten it a little bit more. I want the car, but I got a little bit more in the Lamborghini. All right. How about I do 80? 80, the Shelby. And the Shelby, Shelby will be done. Done. Interior, Interior turnkey. everything. Turnkey, right out the door. So you're getting closer. You're getting a little closer, but we're not exactly where we need to be. I like the car. Yeah, I like the I car. I like my Lamborghini, too. I know, so. I know, I know, I know. All right. You know, man, you're, you're, not, you're not giving me any help here, you man. You got to sweeten it up a little bit more. I'm getting close, though. Getting close. Getting closer. Really close. 85. Go 85. How about we go 90 and about five cases of tequila? Pirate. Now yeah, you're even bringing my pirate's tequila into it? I have to. We're going to need it at the club. Deal? All right. You got it, brother. All right. Looking forward to it. You got yourself GT500 Shelby. And this one you can drive. I mean, really drive. And I will. I mean, you got that hanger queen sitting over there, but That's this true. one you can ride. That's very true. You know, after a lot of back and forth and wrangling, I think the deal went great. And that's the best part about it. You know, two guys, we got together, we figured it out, and both of us walked away happy. This car here, I've been wanting one of these to, so I can drive streetable car, and it's not going to sit on the trailer or in a, in a bubble like my other Shelby. I'm excited to get it on the, on the highway and tear up the streets. Going to put uh, the interior back in, and we are ready to rock and roll. Let me run you through the deal. Dave got the Shelby GT500. Dave got and Dave got, which he threw this into the deal, five cases of our pirates to kill him for his man case. I got. A 1992 triple black Lamborghini Diablo. So yeah, man, let's uh, head on over to the club, man. I want to look at that car, and I want to definitely sit down at your bar and have a couple cocktails. All right, sounds good. Let's do got it. it. Got it. Uh, I never get tired of coming in this place. Home, home sweet home. Oh, I'm telling you, man. Huh. This is a this is a real man's paradise. There she is. Yeah. You've been waiting to see it. When I first had a look at that car and those doors came up and I looked at the inside of that car and I heard it start and I seen it. I mean, it's, it's poetry. It's beautiful. It's sexy. You sit into that car and you wear it. Well, don't I look cool in something like that? It's going to be something cool to drive. No one has it, that's for sure. That's for sure. I don't see many of them. Lamborghini, 200 mile an hour, right from the factory. It's got the original tires on it, 12 cylinder, twin turbo motor. Oh, look at that. It doesn't get any better or any cleaner. Oh my. A lot of carbon goodness. fiber. You don't sit amongst the car. You actually wear that car. It's like putting on fine clothes. Classy, solid. World, look at me. I love American muscle, but let me, when you look at this right here, mm -hmm. this is sexy. This is sexy. This is sexy. Oh. 
There we go. All right. I got to get this thing uh, fully covered before it rolls out of here. Yeah, let's do this. You know, the deal's done. <laughs> I go to get in it. And I'm going to take it for a ride. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Not until you put your insurance on it. Then maybe. Oh, look at this. Then guy. maybe you get a chance. I'll still ride, I'll ride on the other side. Uh, I'm good. Enough. I'm good. Let's do it. So I didn't get to drive it, but I got to ride in it. But it's still mine at the end of the day. Let's reach out. I'm out cleaning my boat and I get a call from Dave. We meet up. He wants my Shelby for a Diablo? Hell yeah! I visit Carol, help her out with a dog issue. We head to Daytona, finish first place. <laughs> Go Pirates Tequila. Carol gives me a call on a Hummer. We get the papers, we go to pick it up and get shot at. <laughs> yeah, nobody knew we were coming. We flip the Hummer quickly. Dave's happy with the Shelby flip, and I end up with a big, black, bold Lamborghini Diablo.